point of this one is that it is heavy, a hacking weapon. So it's not something that you're finessing. Basically, you get it moving, and then you let the sword kind of carry you around. You know, you're just messing with it around. You're enforcing your will onto the sword. If the sword is heavy and you're having to listen to how it wants to flow, then you're coming in harmony with the sword. And that's exactly, that's all we're trying to do with traditional martial arts, is bring more and more parts of ourselves into harmony, our body, our mind, our spirit, even external objects. try to explain a little about the broadsword. This is one of the traditional uh, Chinese martial arts weapons that we train with. It's called a Dao in Chinese. They basically only have one-sided blades. They have a word for that, so it's like a knife. Uh, this is a one-sided blade, Dao. Or there's the straight sword that has uh, two sharp sides. Um, sometimes they describe some of the forms that use these as a dragon. Because if you think about if the sword has its own momentum and it's just moving in circles, then your body is moving around like a dragon around the sword. It's kind of following the sword's momentum. We train, I like to train with, you know, as heavy of one as I can find so that I make sure that I adhere to those principles. Of, of course, like, you know, wushu people use those like paper thin ones that you can just whip all around and that's cool. But I think, you know, what are we trying to do with traditional weapons? We're trying to like incorporate something into our consciousness, like in make this a part of our body and learn like how we can wield this weapon efficiently. And that's kind of what's cool about the broadsword is that if, if you use a heavy one, you'll notice that if you're not following its momentum, if you aren't letting the sword lead, it's hard to wield. So it kind of, it's like a reinforcing way to make sure that you're using this efficiently. I just connect it to my body and I have to listen to what this sword is trying to do. You have to be in the moment, in your body. You can't be in the thoughts. You have to be feeling what's happening in real time. So because we don't really have a reason to be learning a sword, it kind of might seem weird. Like, why are you learning about the sword? It's like, we have to understand that this martial art it's a way of experiencing, learning about yourself, increasing your awareness of yourself, and then to include an exterior object as part of yourself, as part of your nervous system. That's why this is really fun, really cool.